What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel, and we are taking a look at the new Match Pass. So, a few people have been asking me about this. The Match Pass obviously started and launched with Season 2 yesterday, and it goes until the 2nd of November. So, you have about a month, just under a month, to clear this. Look, it's a lot of games for people that don't play. I mean, if you want to clear everything and you buy the premium match pass and you've already purchased the match pass before, you're not going to get the discount on it like you did the last time. You're not going to get 50% off it. It is going to cost you a thousand coins. The value match pass is a little better value at 500. Now, you do get back coins, right? So you do obviously get back coins with this. With the premium one, I think you get back about 300 coins or so. Um, you get a lot of trainers. I mean, if you are looking for trainer XPs, this is the way to go, lads. I mean, you get absolute bags and bags and bags of trainers with this that you will be able to literally train up probably a team fully, maybe two teams fully, right? And as you said there with the coins, you get 50, 100, another 150 here, 200 here, 250, I think it's three, 300, yeah, it's 300 coins for that. And then obviously the value match pass is probably the best value, right? But the big attraction of these, even though you can stay on the free one, okay? The biggest attraction of these most days, or most match passes, is the actual players that you can unlock instantly with them, right? These are usually a mixture between, like, pfft, like getting the bin versus beastly players that you can get, right? Now, we have a couple of thinking things to think about here, right? That's a mouthful. But anyway, we have a couple of things to think about here. That's better. We've got Doku, Count Doku, as I like to call him from uh, Star Wars. And we've also got Zakaria, who is basically, lads, he is basically, I would say like Patrick Vieira slash Makalele slash Davids. He's like one of the best, most overpowered players that is in the game as an anchorman. So we're going to go through the two of those. Now, the one thing I will say is, right, if you want to stay free to play and you don't want to spend any of your free coins and you don't want to top up your coins and you've just decided, look, I'm just going to stay with the regular match pass and get what I get, you get a five star with this, right? So I think that that's still fairly nice that you can literally download the game today, yesterday, next week, whatever, and you can just play 15 games against the AI to learn the ropes and get Bellingham or Fatty or Chuck Wazy. And this guy, Fatty, lads, right, um, is a very, very good player if you are looking to get him from the nominating contracts. I've done a video and a review and a training guide on all of these. And this guy, Fatty, really trains up effectively the same as Doku. I think Doku is better as kind of like more bang for your buck, but it is nice to have that option, right? So that brings us on to the value in the premium pack, right? The premium is going to cost you a thousand coins. You get 100, 200, 300 back. So you get 700 coins. Uh, it's going to cost you um, net for the premium, right? And then the value, of course, you're going to get a couple of three stars and four stars and five stars. You're going to get 50 coins. You're going to get 50 coins. There's 100, 150 there, 200, and I think it's one more, or is it just 200? Yeah, so you get 200 coins back on that one. So the value pack is going to cost you 500, you get 200 coins back. The premium is going to cost you 1,000, you get 300 coins back. So effectively, the value is costing you a net coins of 300, and the premium is costing you a net coins of 700, right? I'm making it very complicated, but it's not, I promise. So if you've never bought a match pass before, I would say that this is definitely a really good option if you still have your 50% off. I especially like Doku or Zakaria to build your team around, right? But let's go over to eFootballDB and actually show you a couple of builds, right? Well, we'll show you the main build that I have for Count Dooku, okay? This guy is a machine, lads. He's just built for one purpose and one purpose only, and that is pure raw speed, okay? Speed, power, on the ball, balance, dribbling. You can see here, right? This, this DB still doesn't have the manager boost onto this, right? So say, for example, you're playing with Xavi. You buy the new Xavi pack, right? you are going to get your ball control up to about 92 there. You're going to have the plus one with the booster that is for all players that Javi gives it to. And then you're also going to have the manager boost on top of that that he gets from the playstyle proficiency, okay? So you're going to have a player that is going to have 90 in ball control, dribbling, and tight possession, over 80 in defensive awareness, which is lovely for a winger. You're also going to have speed, acceleration, and balance nearly maxed out, okay? So the three big stats I look for if I'm looking for a cut in or a just overlapping or pure speedster winger, right? If I'm not going to be passing the ball or shooting the ball with him, curl shots or passing the ball into a target man, I'm going to be looking for dribbling, tight possession, balance, and acceleration. They're the four, actually, that I would look for. Mostly, it's going to be tight possession, balance, and acceleration. 
that is a beastly, beastly build. If you stick one touch pass on him and maybe one or two other um, player skills, I would say low lofted pass would be huge on a player like this because he doesn't have that great passing ability. Um, it is a very, very strong card. Like, it genuinely is a strong card. It is probably worth getting the match pass with the other rewards as well, especially as you get your coins back. It's only going to cost you, what, 300 coins to get this guy? And he is a guaranteed kind of end game level winger if you are starting off obviously if you've got legends and epics that goes all out the windows just for you guys in the chat to be like oh i have figo i have donadoni i have danielson i have 100 overall mbappe on the wing you know this guy is more based around for starter packs lads as the club packs are right we also have zakaria now a lot of people have talked about zakaria before even his standard edition he featured in my hidden gem series way back in eFootball 2022 he also featured in best dmfs budget players that i had a series on so this guy is known to me for a while and a lot of people in the community like him he is kind of i would say probably one of the easiest anchormen to use right he's down as an anchorman play style so he's a very defensive player just naturally but he's also got a couple of bits and pieces about him that i would say put him above the likes of patrick vieira unless you know you actually boost up vieira you play him in a different type role right as an anchorman this guy is going to be in the same category as the likes of rodri okay casemiro barrios but the thing with this guy is while he lacks a tiny bit of defense compared to those guys he makes up with it with speed that's nearly in the 90 zone well it will be in the 90 zone with the boost effectively acceleration is going to be over 80 physical contact is going to be over 90 and his stamina is 75 that's a bit of a weak point on him the stamina so keep an eye on that but if you are playing him as a holden anchorman you shouldn't be bursting up the pitch with him he should conserve energy especially if you have deep line and defensive on him in individual instructions but even at that lads look he's he still has one touch pass first time shot way to pass interception blocker fighting spirit he has rising shot and long range shooting he's got low pass at 78 he's got dribbling at 74 ball control at 74 header at 73 he's big he's strong he's very very physical and he is effectively the cheapest option you can go to get a patrick vieira style player that has a better play style in my personal opinion okay um now whether they bring out well they will be bringing out a new patrick vieira as well but this guy lads genuinely if you've got a couple of coins to spare and you want to stay and you have 700 coins because well if you have a thousand and you get 300 back i think he's a machine now is he going to be a kind of a meta style player I would say yes, depending on whether you're in Division 1 or Division 2. Then it becomes a case of having guys that have B form, and it comes a case of guys that have unwavering form. Zakaria does not have both of those. Um, but you can you can see here lads, that his everything in his stats, especially that aggression at 99 maxed out, is going to be incredible. He's got 34 levels to go. Doku has got 32 levels to go. So I definitely do recommend both of those players if you've got a few coins lying around. But listen, it's all up to you. We have that debate every day, whether you should spin, whether you should spend. It's all a personal choice um, because obviously, you know, that's going to be the way that there's always going to be premium items within this dream team mode as far as we can see so yeah it's a thumbs up for me on both of these if you have the coins to do it i mean obviously i'm speaking to people that want to buy this match pass and they're genuinely interested in what it has to offer um if that's not you then there are definitely players on the standard list as i said ansu fatty is a beast you don't have to play an anchorman like zakaria who can do it all for you you can play a double pivot there's lots of ways around it you can still get to division one without spending a penny as i've proven time and time again on my road to glory series but anyway that is it for me match pass for me i think it's a strong one this month especially the value one with doku if you're looking to play with an exciting winger and if you have that few extra coins lying around if you've saved up Zakaria is a, be a machine if you don't have one of the upper high tier end game level go gold players like Vieira, Makalele, Davids. Okay, so that is it for me. I'll talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Peace.